All right. Well, here we have the new Samsung tablet, which, as you can see, has glass on the back, glass on the front, like the last smartphones from Samsung have. So it's built with premium materials. It has a really nice design, a really thin, thin frame. I think it's just 6.0 millimeters, which is really nice. And it only weighs 435 grams, so it's very, very light. Okay, the first thing that we see when we look at the screen is that we have a Super AMOLED display. This is the only tablet in the market that has Super AMOLED display right now, so it's a kind of really nice feature. And it also supports HDR video. Okay? It's the only, I think it's also the only tablet in the market that supports HDR video. When we go to the gallery, for example, we can look at pictures with the Super AMOLED screen. It presents bright colors, it presents a lot of contrast. You can see a lot of colors that you can you, you can't see in other in other tablets. Okay. The colors are very bright, they're very intense. And you also have HDR video. You can see here in Amazon. HDR video gives you the sensation to watch a movie in the cinema, but just looking at the tablet because you can see that the frames here are black. In normal displays for tablet, these, uh, these frames are gray, are kind of gray, are not that deep. You don't have that, color, that amount of color. So it's really nice to have this feature in a tablet. It's the first time that you have it. You can see that the colors are really nice, the contrast is great. So yeah, it's really convenient. Okay? Another feature that is really important for this tablet is that it comes with an S Pen that goes along with the tablet and is new from now from today in fact so this pen is different from the other ones not only because it works in higher condition with a lot of angles but because it doesn't have a battery it's the first pen that doesn't have battery it works with the magnetism that the tablet produces okay it's very convenient to have this feature because when you have black screen now the video is gonna start well you have black screen you put it there and you press the button okay you can write notes on it if you are in a meeting, if you are at school studying, and you can have documents written, and when you finish taking notes, you can save them. Okay? It's really nice to can take notes with a well, with a block screen because you don't have to bother to open the tablet, open the I, the app that you have for taking notes. So it's very easy. You can save them. You can write as much as you want, so I think it's a kind of, of nice feature, okay? Ano another thing that is really important, as this tablet is working with AKG for this tablet, the Samsung, and you have four speakers, one in every corner, and all are provided for by AKG, okay? These four speakers gives you the stereo sensation when you're watching a video, and this is stereo adapts if you have the tablet hold that way or hold that way so you can get the better result of the product okay some of the things that the S Pen can provide you is like in Galaxy Note you can have the bar here the command the air command to select some of the features that you have here you can add shortcuts but right now we have that one for example you can translate words you are from Germany, so we are going to translate from English to Dutch. Okay, so when we get close with the S Pen to the word video, well, it's the same word in this case, but for example, camera gets translated. I don't know if internet is the same, yeah, it is. Um, store, maybe? Yes. Launcher. It's really convenient because it does not only translate the words that you have in the in your screen, but you can also take a picture. And if the typing is registered, you can see, for example, if you're in the street, you take a picture of a signal that you don't know what it means, you can you can translate it with the app. Just getting close to the photograph and the and the word that you want to translate. Okay? Some other features that are interesting. Other, for example, you can take notes on the current screen that you are seeing. For example, it takes a photo of the screen and now I can write on it and save it as a photo in the gallery. It's really nice. Okay, you can also have photo of the screens the way you want. And there's a one that I particularly like 
this. If you go to YouTube, like this, uh, and open a video, in this case a Samsung one, you can select the features, go to Smart Select, and in Smart Select, one of the options that you have to capture your screen is to take a GIF. So, you select, how big do you want it, and start recording. You can record a GIF for up to 15 seconds, okay? And when you're finished with it, you stop it, you have your GIF, and you can share it, save it, or draw on it if you want to. I think it's really nice. A lot of people is gonna use that. Okay, more things that you can do with the S Pen. For example, you can go to the applications, go to the Microsoft applications, and Star Office works in this case. It also works for PowerPoint. You can open a blank document on it, select to draw. Um, I don't know why this came up, okay. And start taking notes on the document. So it's really convenient if someone sends you a document, you have to write on it, you don't want to tip everything that you have to say, so you just write, write on it. Oh, highlight the parts that you think that are important, need to be improved, whatever. It works for Word, it works for PowerPoint, it also works for PDF, so if they send you a contract, for example, you can sign the contract and then send it again as a PDF file. Okay, now we're going out. Another feature that is really interesting is that you can use R-Rage that comes with the tablet. I don't know if I have mentioned that the S Pen comes also with the tablet, it's free. Okay, here we also we have someone who has wrote already. Well, what is nice about it is that when you select a color and draw with the color, you have different pressures. So I can do it that way, that way. Oh, maybe harder. Okay, and when you select another color, for example, red, and you draw on it, the colors get mixed. Maybe it's not the clear with that one, but I'm going to use this, and you're going to see it better. Now I paint with red, I select blue, and the colors get mixed. Okay? It's really nice for people who are artists, and I'm going to use this pen to have these kind of features to draw on the tablet. Okay, more things that I can show you. Well, we have a new feature also for games, that I think is very important for people who play a lot, because it's really nice to have it. For example, we play Candy Crush Saga, and we have these game tools. It's the first tablet of Samsung that have game tools. Game tools is a little icon that we see there, so it doesn't bother us when we are playing. So you can press this tool, and you have some options, like it doesn't have hours during the game. If they call, her, if they call you and you are very focused in your you're playing, you won't be bothered. You can also lock, recent and back keys. So if I press here, I'm not going out for my game, I'm not messing up my, my gameplay. I can also take screenshots and I can also record what I am playing. For example, I press record now and now it's recording. If I want to know how much I've been recording, I go to notifications and I see we are seven seconds now. We close it and we go to a gallery. And in the gallery, you can see, we have the video here, we play it, okay? And it's a very convenient feature, because it does not only show you the sound of the game and the image of the game, it also records your voice. So if you want to make a YouTube video, for example, and you have to explain what are you doing while you're playing, it's very convenient to have this feature. Also, if you want to share it with friends, or whatever you want to do with it, okay? Going out. What?